Well, Americans shouldn't be concerned about the prospects of uh, contagion here in the United States short term because this is not an airborne disease. I noticed you said short term, though. Well, I, I'm going to get to that. Um, it's not an airborne disease like the flu. Uh, you can only catch it uh, through the transmission of bodily fluids. Uh, where you have a strong public health infrastructure, then typically there's one person who's identified or a couple of people who identified as having the virus, isolate them, uh, run through a real tight protocol, and it, it gets contained uh, pretty effectively. The problem that we've got is in right now a limited portion of Western Africa, primarily, Li especially in Liberia, but also Sierra Leone, Guinea. A Tragically, few cases. a part of Africa that economically had been booming. Yeah, by they, the way. They, they, they and had, all of a they sudden, had, I mean, this is a they, they, they'd been making some significant progress, but they they didn't have a public health infrastructure. So now, what you have is what should be a containable problem breaking loose because people aren't being quarantined properly, people aren't being uh, trained properly, there aren't enough public health workers. So what I've said, and I said this two months ago to our national security team is, we have to make this a national security priority. We have to mobilize the international community, get resources in there. We're going to have to use it's going to be US, US effort in. as usual. And we're going to have to get uh, U.S. military assets just to set up, for example, I, uh, isolation units and, and, and uh, equipment there uh, to provide security for public health workers surging from uh, around the world. If we do that, then it's still going to be months before this problem is controllable in Africa, but it shouldn't reach our shores. Now, here's the last point I'm going to make. If we don't make that effort now, and this spreads not just through Africa but other parts of the world, there's the prospect then that the virus mutates, it becomes more easily transmittable, and then it could be a serious danger to the United States. This is an example of where U.S. leadership is important in dealing with crisis, but it's also an argument for why when, when I go before Congress and I say, let's give some public health aid to countries like Liberia so that they can set up hospitals and nurses and vaccinations, et cetera. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, the American public says, why are we wasting money on them? Well, part of it is because, uh, you know, when, when we make those short-term uh, investments now, it really pays off uh, a lot of dividends in the future. Let me go to immigration. Um, 